Whatever you want, you gotta go take it. No. Ain't nobody can give it to you. Let's go take what we want. The autumn wind is a pirate. Blustering in from sea, with a rollicking song he sweeps along, swaggering boisterously. His face is weather beaten. He wears a hooded sash, with a silver hat about his head, and a bristling black mustache. He growls as he storms the country, a villain big and bold. And the trees all shake and quiver and quake as he robs them of their gold. The autumn wind is a raider, pillaging just for fun. He'll knock you round and upside down and laugh when he's conquered and won. When Jonathan April was drafted in 2019, I couldn't wait to see him play. He's a good athlete and a big hitter with all kinds of swagger. He even had the nerve to take the number 24, the number of a couple of Raider legends, but of course, he didn't live up to the number or his first round draft status. What's the problem? Abram has shown the ability to be a good do-it-all safety. He just makes too many costly mistakes and he doesn't play at a high enough level consistently enough. But why? If a guy flashes, he should be able to work hard and become consistent. It doesn't always work like that though. When teams draft players, Fans are always caught up in college stats and NFL combine performance. Then they think it's all hard from there, but it's not. The main predictor of an NFL draft prospect's success is his ability to adapt and learn. If you don't know what you're doing, you'll play a step slower and you'll make those big costly mistakes like Abram did with all three defensive coordinators he had. That's why the Las Vegas Raiders had to cut him. In this time in the NFL, Abram has shown that he can play the run in the box when he wants to. He's shown he's a good blitzer. He's shown he's good in short zone or as a robber. He's shown he can handle the back end when he's on top of things. That's a nice save right there. And of course, there's what we've all always liked about him. He's a big hitter. Oh. He can also screw some stuff up. This is the film the new regime watched before they declined his 50 year option. Abram can play the run, but he screws himself out of the deal too much which is why he's among the lead leaders in yards given up in his gap. You can't stay blocked or get driven back, but Abram does both here. Life in the box is hard for a safety that doesn't have long arms. And let me tell you, you have to know what's going on around you. Oh, you can't play blind. I'm gonna leave this one alone here. This wasn't too bad. But this one is. When a runner is coming into your gap, you can't move out of it to try to make the tackle. Another problem he has in the run game, and the passing game too for that matter, is missed tackles. A loss turned into a big gain on that play. For the love of God, what are you doing taking Najee Harris on up top? And he gave him the business. Get off me, fool. The new regime saw this one up close in 2020. This is horrible, too. Oh. You cannot do that when you're the last line of defense, but he's going to do it again here. Oh, somebody's about to give him the business at the end of this thing, too. All right, now we're in 2021. He learned, right? Wrong. He's going to get shook by a quarterback and not a running quarterback. Oh, 
this is how he screws things up in coverage. My bad, he's the split safety up top. He sees the skinny post some bites on it while a dig route's coming into his zone. And yes, that dig route is the target. That skinny post is the other safety's job. Do your job. He didn't, and it cost the Raiders a touchdown. All right, we're in the red zone now where you must be on top of your game. Is he not aware of the receiver coming into his zone and now behind him? You're a safety. No one's supposed to get behind you anyway. What are you doing? He still has a chance to back up and take that throw away, but he doesn't and gives up a touchdown. I know you remember this one. Closing seconds and the Raiders have a chance to sweep the Chiefs for the first time in forever. What are you doing, Abram? Stay in your zone. Get back into your zone. There's somebody to tackle the quarterback. If he stays where he's supposed to be, maybe that pass isn't completed. But we'll never know. The game is lost. Man coverage is something Abram was never good at. So you know Travis Kelsey's going to abuse him. Even when he gets a decent break on the ball, he doesn't have the length to reach in there and poke it out. Especially not on tight ends. He doesn't have the height or the vertical leap to go up with the tight end either. Even a 5'8 running back can go up and get one over him. Now in 2022, he still can't cover tight ends. And his tackling, well, that's still not there. Oh. He still falls asleep in the red zone. I don't know if he thought this was a running play or what. Here, Nate Hobbs is clearly pointing and telling him that he has the outside tight end, so that means Abram has the inside tight end. But Abram didn't get him in his touchdown, Kelsey. Here against the Jaguars, Abram was already playing less, so this is the play that must have got him cut. He drops into his zone, knows where the man is, and still lets him make the catch. And meanwhile, Deron Harmon has been balling. So the Raiders are going to roll with Harmon and Trayvon Merrick as the starting safeties. And the word is, my guy Isaiah Palomao just got called up from the practice squad. Man, all that hitting power, swagger, and bluster. He even had the nerve to take the number 24. So I thought I was going to have the time of my life watching April when he first got drafted. I thought he was going to be somewhere along the lines of George Atkinson, Jack Tatum, and Eddie Anderson. But all he was able to produce were moments and flashes. There was no consistency there. Unfortunately, as a Raider, he was known more for his blunders and mistakes, some of which would cost Raiders football games. And he never could figure it out, so he's gone. Thank you for watching. See you next time.